Hi there, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to talk about working with the Octane Imager node. And for this video, I'm using the Space Cantina Interior 03.ma scene. So let's open up the render settings. I'll go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Render Settings. And in the Octane Render tab, under Render Settings, I'm going to choose from the Imager menu, Create New. So the Imager node allows you to do color correction uh, and add lookup tables and other different types of in-camera effects to your scene. And the nice thing about this menu is you can create as many imager nodes as you need and then switch between them using the menu. Let's close this and take a look at the imager node in the attribute editor. So a lot of this is kind of straightforward. We have exposure. We can adjust the gamma. We can use different response presets to emulate different cameras. So you can switch between these or you can set this to none at all. So that's linear off. We can also uh, apply different custom lookup tables. So if you have a lookup table that's been generated by your art director or in your studio, or you can also download these online. If you do a Google search for LUT, uh, you'll find a bunch of them available. And then you can apply this as a file. So to do this, you would click on this checker box and in the create render node window, you would choose Octane lookup table. And then in this field right here, you would open up the folder, browse your directory, find the lookup table and connect to it that way. And then you can apply the strength of that lookup table using this slider. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to set the gamma to 2.2. We have other effects such as vignetting and saturation. And hot pixel removal will help to remove fireflies, which are those bright burned out highlights that you might encounter in some renders. The thing you need to know about hot pixel removal is that the lower this value is, the more it will remove hot pixels. So it's kind of the opposite of what you might think. So bring this down if you have a lot of fireflies in your render and it should eliminate them. Be aware if it's too low, the render will start to look soft. So you want to use that, you know, with some testing, use it with caution. So there are a number of other settings in here that are explained in detail in the documentation. Uh, you can store this to the Octane database as a preset, or you can also store it as a standard Maya preset. So if I go to the presets button and I choose save Octane image preset, I can call it something like Cantina. And then if I have other scenes that use the same type of imager, or I wanna apply the same imager effects to it, I can just go to the presets button here and then apply that. So that's the basics of working with the Octane Imager.